Hi friends good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. And for all of you I pray that God fulfill all your dreams and give you lots of happiness. And my dear friends every time I try my best to give you all latest news. Therefore, you are requested to sit tight on your seats and enjoy the latest news. Raffidane Bank announced today, Thursday, the implementation of the electronic banking system in 48 branches in Baghdad and the governorates. A statement by the bank received by Al Maloma Agency stated that, 48 branches have been operated so far within the comprehensive banking system, which reflects its commitment to updating its services according to the highest international standards. He added, this development comes as part of the bank's strategy to improve customer experience across all its branches, and facilitate access to integrated, fast and secure banking services. He explained that, the comprehensive banking system represents a qualitative shift in the bank's path, as it supports digital transformation and enhances the bank's ability to efficiently meet the needs of a wide range of customers. He explained that, this continuous expansion will include more branches in the future, as part of a well-thought-out plan aimed at providing a modern banking experience that contributes to supporting the national economy and meeting the needs of society with distinguished and comprehensive banking services. And Prime Minister Mohammed S. Al-Sadani presided over the handover ceremony of five births at al Fao Grand Court in Basra Province, completed by the implementing Korean company. In his speech at the ceremony, the Prime Minister highlighted the strategic significance of these five births as the backbone of al Fao Grand Court's Phase 1. Set to be completed next year according to schedule, massive commercial ships with deep drafts have already docked at the port's berths. The Prime Minister announced that this project has effectively entered the global trade and transport routes that pass through the Middle East, a region crucial to global commerce. The project will transform Iraq from a country dependent on the ports of others to a maritime state with a full presence on the Gulf. Key points from Prime Minister al Sadani's speech during the ceremony. Economic transformation and sustainable development represent an integrated approach to meet the country's needs and bolster Iraq's connectivity to international trade. Iraq has historically been a key pillar of the global economy and a central route in major trade exchanges. The development road, originating from al Fao Grand Port, will link the economies of many regional nations and provide a hub for economic integration. The Council of Ministers has supported the Ministry of Transportation's work on upgrading railway lines along the development road and connecting routes within an interconnected plan. New rail projects have been included in the investment plan, with allocated funding. The government remains committed to completing this project as a gateway to Iraq's larger vision the development road. This initiative and adjacent industrial cities form the core of the government's plan to increase non-oil revenues. The state company for Iraqi ports has made significant progress in implementing an effective management strategy for al Fao Grand Port. Leading global operators are being engaged to select the most viable economic model to attract international trade. The government remains committed to providing opportunities for the future generations in fields like industry, production, goods transportation, agriculture development, and facilitating trade through this international corridor. Thanks take care.